Hello! We uh, are going to go over some sun salutations. Sun salutations are something you will come across in most yoga practices. Uh, but there are a few different variations, so we'll go over a few different variations with some modifications so you can adjust as you need to. We're going to turn to face the short edge of the mat, so turn into the front of your mat, which is where we start. So traditionally your sun salutation would be practiced in the morning, but it's a great addition to any yoga practice at any time of the day, just to get everything moving. So we're starting in Tadasana, or sometimes called Svadastitahi, which is a call to action. We're standing well, so weight even between both feet, standing up nice and tall, tailbone slightly tucked under, shoulders down and back. And just take a moment to tune into your breath, tune into your body, maybe close the eyes. See if you can start to deepen the breath. Find that steady, comfortable rhythm. And so throughout the sun salutations, I'll direct you sometimes with your breath. But particularly if you're new to practicing yoga or you only practice occasionally, just let the breath flow. Breathe when you need to, it'll take care of itself mostly. So when you feel ready, with a nice big inhale, we'll take the arms out and up. And then with an exhale, we're gonna fold forward. So start with a nice, good bend in the knees, a gentle forward fold. Maybe you just come to halfway, so hands coming onto the legs, finding that halfway point. Or maybe you come all the way down, hands coming down onto the mat. Whatever feels best for you, but keep that nice bend in the knees for now. And then we're going to come up to a halfway lift. So with the inhale, slide the hands up the legs. Find that halfway point. So try and lengthen through the spine. Keep the gaze down towards the floor so you're not bending the neck to look up. And then we'll exhale and fold forward again. Fantastic, coming into Uttanasana, our forward fold. From here, we're gonna place the hands down on the mat. We're gonna step back right, step back left, coming into downward facing dog. So you can take your time in down dog. Again, knees don't have to be straight. You can have a good bend in the knees, or you can work towards bringing those heels down towards the mat. Just find the down dog that works best for you today. And then we're gonna bring our weight forwards to plank and we'll all pop the knees down. Keeping those elbows tucked in, lowering down onto your front and then we'll come into baby cobra. So hands are in front of the shoulders, elbows down on the mat, untuck the toes. With an inhale, draw the shoulder blades together, lift the rib cage, lift the chest, looking straight ahead. Nice, gentle back bend. And then exhale, lower down, slide the hands back. Tuck the toes under again, press into the hands, lift the upper body, and then lift the knees up, send the belly back towards the thighs, downward facing dog. Fantastic. We'll lift the gaze towards the front of the mat and just slowly walk the feet up the mat. Again, keeping that nice bend in the knees, into your forward fold, Uttanasana. And then keep that bend as you inhale, take the arms out and up. And draw yourself all the way up to standing. Exhale, hands down to prayer in front of the heart. Fantastic, that's your first sun salutation, Surya Namaskar. So, Svadhasthitahi, call to action. Bring yourself back to that nice, steady standing pose. We'll go over that variation again with a few different adjustments. With an inhale, take the arms out and up. 
And with an exhale, hinging forward from the hips. Remember, keep a bend in the knees if you need to. Hands onto the legs or onto the mat. So think about sending the crown of the head down towards the mat. With an inhale, we'll look up and lengthen. This time, if you want to, you can always keep fingertips on the mat instead of bringing them up onto the legs. Exhale, folding forward again. Uttanasana. So bend the knees as much as you need to to place the hands down on the mat. We're going to step back right, step back left. Adha Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Send that tailbone up towards the ceiling. Fantastic. Inhale, bring the weight forwards into plank. So pop the knees down if you need to. Otherwise, we're going to tuck those elbows in. Lower all the way down onto your front, keeping the elbows tucked in. Fantastic. So baby cobra with the elbows down or full cobra, keeping those elbows tucked into the sides of the body. Draw the shoulder blades together. Lift the rib cage. Lift the chest. Looking straight ahead. Cobra pose, Bhujangasana. Exhale, lower back down. Tuck the toes, slide the hands back a little. Press into the hand, lift yourself up. And then send the hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Fantastic. Lift the gaze towards the front of the mat. And then we'll see if we can step forward one foot and then the other foot. But walk forward if that's better for you. Again, have a little bend in the knees coming into Uttanasana. Nice bend in the knees as you inhale. Take the arms out and up. Exhale, hands down to press in front of the heart. Lovely, give everything a little wriggle, realign everything. Check in with your breath again. Try and settle that breath. So now we're going to change our sun salutation into a bit more of a classical sun salutation. So anything that doesn't work for you, just adapt as you need to. With an inhale, we'll take the arms out and up. With an exhale, a little bend in the knees. We're going to lift the rib cage, lift the chest, and then lift the heart up towards the ceiling, coming into a gentle back bend. Inhale, centre. Exhale, folding forward, hinging from the hips. Hands onto the mat or onto the legs. Uttanasana. So start to think about bringing the weight forwards towards the toes. You might find naturally the weight is shifted back to help you with your balance. But if you can, try and bring that weight forwards towards the toes. You'll feel the stretch up the back of the legs increase. With an inhale, looking up, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward. So we're going to step back with our left foot. Nice big step. Coming into a lunge. So back knee coming down. So the top of the back foot can come down or you can keep the toes tucked under. Try and lift up through the upper body. So if you've collapsed over that top leg, lengthen up, coming up onto the fingertips. Looking straight ahead. Fantastic. Hands come down onto the mat, lift the back knee, step back, downward facing dog. Fantastic, take a nice breath here in down dog. And then weight coming forwards to plank, pop the knees down if you need to. Exhale, lower down onto your front, untuck the toes. Inhale, cobra or baby cobra. Exhale and lower. Tuck the toes under. This time we're going to see if we can lift up all the way through plank. So squeeze those elbows into the sides of the body. Have those toes tucked under. With an inhale, press into the hands. Lift yourself all the way back up to plank. And then send the hips up and back. Don't worry if that isn't available to you yet. I find it very difficult. <laughs> Fantastic. We're going to lift the gaze towards the front of the mat and this time we're just going to step the right foot forward. Bring that left knee down, coming into your lunge again. Looking straight ahead, try and bring the shoulders down and back. Step the back foot to the front foot. 
into Uttanasana, forward fold. Nice bend in the knees, inhale, take the arms out and up. Draw yourself all the way up to standing. Exhale, hands down to prayer in front of the heart. Inhale, take those arms out and up. Exhale, bend back. Inhale, center. Exhale, hinging forward, Uttanasana. Inhale to look up and lengthen. Exhale, fold forward. Stepping back with the right foot this time. Nice big step. Back knee down, coming into that lunge. Remember, looking straight ahead, trying to lengthen through the upper body. Then lift the back knee, step back, down dog. Lovely, weight forwards to plank or pop the knees down. Keep those elbows tucked in as you lower down onto your front. Inhale, coming up into cobra or baby cobra. Exhale and lower, tuck the toes, press into the hands, lift yourself all the way back up to plank, and then send the hips up and back, down dog. Wonderful. We are stepping forwards with the left foot, nice big step. Back knee down, looking straight ahead into your lunge. Step the back foot to the front foot. Uttanasana, forward fold. Nice bend in the knees, inhale, take the arms out and up. Draw yourself all the way up to standing. Exhale, hands down to prayer, in front of the heart. Wonderful. So we've got one last variation. Stick to either of the ones that we've just done, otherwise. With an inhale, we'll take those arms out and up. With an exhale, bending back. Inhale, center. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale to look up and lengthen. Exhale to fold forward. So bend into the knees as much as you need to so you can place the hands flat. And we're going to see if we can jump back to plank. Fantastic. Keep those elbows tucked in. You're lowering down to Chaturanga and then coming through into upward facing dog. Pop the knees down if you need to. Keep the toes tucked under if you need to. Fantastic, then press into the hands. Send the hips up and back and downward facing dog. Take a nice breath here. Lift the gaze towards the front of the mat. Little bend in the knees. Jump the feet forward towards the front of the mat. Fantastic. Make sure the feet are hip distance apart. We're gonna sweep the arms up, coming up by a chair. So send the weight back towards the heels. Good bend in the knees. Deep breath in. Exhale, and straighten through the legs. Lovely. So we'll do that one more time. Last one. Do whichever variation you prefer. With an inhale, take the arms out and up. With an exhale, bending back. Inhale, center. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, look up and lengthen. Exhale, fold forward. Plant the hands down, jumping back for plank. Exhale, lower chaturanga. Inhale, coming through to Upward Facing Dog. Really try and press through the hands, lift that upper body. Don't collapse into the lower back. And then send the hips up and back. Downward Facing Dog. Nice breath here in Down Dog. Lift the gaze towards the front of the mat. Bend into the knees. Jump those feet forward. Fantastic. Bend into the knees, send the weight back towards the heels. Utkatasana, chair pose. Deep breath in. 
exhale, straighten through the legs. Coming into Tadasana, Svadhisthitthi. Let the breath settle, let the body settle. Hopefully you feel nice and warm now. You can feel the energy moving through your body. Fantastic. Well, I hope you enjoyed the sun salutations. If you have time now, it'd be a good time to get on your mat and do a few extra stretches. Um, or if this is just part of your morning practice or you're fitting it in between other things, that's quite a nice rounded little practice of a few sun salutations. So I hope you enjoyed them. See you again soon. Om Shanti.